Hello and welcome to this GP to BC Fundamentals video. In this video I'm going to cover how Business Central defaults the GL codes onto transactions using posting groups and the posting setup. I'll explain how this is configured and set up and then at the end of the video I'll show how all this comes together when you're raising a transaction. My name's Gavin and I'm originally from a Dynamics GP background but I thought I'd share some of the things about Business Central that I think are great to get a good early grasp on to help in the transition from GP to BC. And saying that, hopefully, anyone new to Business Central will find this helpful as well. So as this is a GP to BC video, I thought it'd be nice to very quickly cover how does Dynamics GP default the GL codes. So in GP, we physically put the default GL codes onto things like the debtors, the vendors, and the items. So as you can see here in the first screenshot, this debtor, Adam Park, on the actual debtor maintenance card, we've clicked accounts and we've put the default, some default GL codes that we want to use. So for example, the accounts receivable code there, that's going to be used as a default for this particular debtor. And then underneath on the items on this phone card, again, on the setup of the item, we've clicked accounts and we've physically put the GL code straight onto that item. So that's a theme throughout GP. We put, we put the default GL codes physically onto the setup of things like debtors, vendors, items, and things like fixed assets and checkbooks and so on. Another thing to know about GP is as you're entering the transactions, the, those default GL codes are being pulled on to the transaction. So as you can see here in the sales transaction entry window, we're entering a sales invoice and the distributions have been defaulted from the items and from, from that data. And we can actually edit and change them prior to posting the transaction. So now we've covered how GP defaults the GL codes, let's move on to how does Dynamics 365 Business Central default the GL codes? Well, it uses something called posting groups and there's different types of posting groups. There's specific posting groups for things like control accounts, so things like accounts receivables and accounts payable. And then there's general posting groups and they're split up into business general posting groups and product general posting groups. And they're for things like the revenue codes and the expense codes. So firstly, if we look at the specific posting groups, they're added to things like customers, vendors, items, and bank accounts. And as you can see from this example, customer card 10,000, I'm not actually putting the GL codes hard coded onto the customer like I would in GP. I'm putting that customer posting group, which is domestic. And then underneath in the customer posting group setup page, I then say which GL code that's gonna to post to. So for example, domestic here is gonna to post to 40400. And I can have numerous different customer posting groups posting to different GL codes. So moving on to an item, the specific posting group for this is the inventory posting group. And as you can see, this Athens desk item has got a resale inventory posting group. And the middle screenshot, the inventory posting group setup page, we don't actually put the GL code on there. We have to click the setup button. And in there, we specify in the inventory posting setup page, which GL code to use. And you can see here that we can use uh, a combination of the location code in the inventory posting group to post a different inventory codes. It just so happens that these are all gonna hit 40700, but I could set this up so that the location, a combination of location code main and the inventory posting group resale would post to a different GL code. So moving on to the general posting groups and firstly, the general business posting group. Again, these are going to be assigned to the customers and the vendors. So for example, we can see here customer card 10,000. I've put the general business posting group of domestic on there. And then the screenshot underneath is the setup of that general business posting group. But as you can see, there's no GL codes at the moment. Uh, to do that, we have to click the setup button. But before we get to that, let's have a quick look at the general product posting groups on the item. So here we have the Athens desk item. And as you can see, I've got a general product posting group of retail assigned to this item. So we're gonna put product posting groups on things like items and resources. And then underneath, we've got gem the general product posting group set up. So there's still no GL codes here though either. We can see access them just like we did uh, on the general business product posting group. We've got to click that setup button and that then takes us to the general posting setup window. So now we're in the general posting setup window. And as you can see, this is where the GL codes are added. And what happens, as I mentioned at the top, is the general business posting group and the general product posting group form a matrix. So if a customer is assigned a general business posting group on domestic and you sell them an item that's assigned a general product posting group of retail, then in that scenario, the sales account that's going to be used is 1,0200. And likewise, if I have a vendor that's set up 
a general business posting group of domestic and I buy the item which has a general product posting group of retail then it's going to use the purchaser's account of 40700 and the beauty of this setup is I can sell that exact same item with a product posting group of retail to a customer that has a general business posting group of say EU and that could theoretically use a different sales code in this example with this general posting setup it's going to use the same code but it could use a different one so this is really the hub of how business central is going to choose which sales codes and etc to use so pulling this all together if I add a sales invoice onto the customer 10,000 you can see how business central is pulling the posting groups onto the transaction so you can see here at the bottom it's default the customer posting group of domestic from the customer 10,000 and also at the Athens chair we've got it's pulled through the general product posting group of retail and the, the inventory specific posting group of resale and it's also pulled on the general business posting group from the customer of domestic and it's going to use this information when I post this transaction to create the GL entries based on our posting setup. And here are those general ledger entries. We can see that the account receivable code of 40400 was pulled from the customer specific posting group. The inventory code of 40700 is pulled from the inventory specific posting group. And we've got a, a posting to an income code there of 10200, which has been selected based on the general posting setup combination of the general business posting group and the general product posting group of the item. And that's it. Uh, more information can be found on a blog post uh, via that link uh, that I've written. I also have a, a blog uh, called the dynamicsexplorer.com which has various information on Dynamics GP and Dynamics 365 Business Central. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at the Dyn Explorer. I do hope to do a few more of these so I, I hope you find it useful. Thank you very much for watching.